I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a Bible journaling process for you. I am getting close to wrapping up waiting in day two from By the Well for God and today I'm going to be journaling in day 11 and I am sure I'm going to mispronounce the name Shigianoth and it is referring to Habakkuk's prayer in the book of Habakkuk. And that's a book we've been focusing on a lot in this particular devotional. And I'm going to try a different technique today in my journaling that I've only done once before. And it is using wax paper to print on. By the Well for God has started offering digital papers that coordinate with the kit. And they are great. You can print them out. I have a few of them right here. You can print them out on regular paper, on sticker paper. And then today I'm going to try printing them out onto wax paper and then using that wax paper to transfer the image into my Bible to create kind of a worn look. So my plan is to use this image right here, perhaps overlaid with some of this as kind of a layered look and to see what happens. So it'll either work out awesome or be a hot mess. Either way, I will show you what happens. So hopefully you will learn from my trial and error. Let's put you on fast forward and get going. The first thing you need to do for this technique is to adhere the wax paper to, I just use a regular piece of computer paper. I use my washi tape that I have uh, lying around and secure the edges of this wax paper. And then when I load it into my printer, I make sure it's oriented in the way that will print on top of the wax paper. Truthfully, in all honesty, I had a little bit of trouble with this first sheet and I ended up having to print this image twice and the second time I used more washi tape to keep the edges from getting caught up in my printer and it worked just fine. Now you can see there were some little mishaps on the corners with the ink smearing, but for the most part, the image came out really nicely. I cut it and I leave it attached to the computer paper. It's easier to move around and work with. And all you do is simply flip it over and press it onto the page and it gives you that uh, reverse image. And it's pretty cool. It dries very fast. When you lay it down though, you want to make sure not to move it around side to side. You don't want to smear the ink on the paper, you want it to just go straight down. I I maybe pushed my luck here. I added, um, I used that paper again and added it to the top right hand corner. I decided to use the flower paper again and add it to the bottom right and didn't get a really good imprint and I'm not really sure I like it. I wish I had stayed with what I just did on the left, but that's okay. Experimenting is fun and I really like the worn vintage look that comes with this technique. The next thing I do is take a few of the die cut pieces from the kit and I'm going to trim off a little bit of the white edging. I prefer it to be cut a little bit closer so I trim it off and now I'm going to place these images. I didn't really like where the overlap was. It turned out to not really be what I thought it would be so I want to kind of cover it up with those die cuts and then you'll see me with these stickers which seem a little bit random but what happened was there was a mark from the opposite page, if that makes sense. I have journaling on the right side of that Bible page, and when I closed my Bible, apparently I did not let it dry, so there was a little bit of a mark. I wanted to cover it up there with some clear stickers, and because I have all of these beautiful clear stickers in the kit and these gorgeous florals, I decided to just go for it and add them throughout the page, bringing that motif all around, kind of moving it around the page. And also it helped me, I wasn't really pleased with the imprint on from the wax paper in the bottom right there. So the flower gave me something else to put there to kind of bring that into the rest of the layout because otherwise it looked a little bit haphazard. You'll see me, I put that, I put that down and what I'm gonna do is add some washi tape to kind of ground the flowers at the bottom and then I will also continue and put that washi tape at the top. So I place that clear flower 
I'm gonna put the washi tape at the bottom and then also at the top of the spread to frame in the entire layout. washi tape is down and the stickers are down I'm going to fuss a little bit with the ephemera pieces and decide do I want to put the die cuts down low do I want them in the middle I kind of think about it for a minute but eventually I decide to put them back in the middle again I just wasn't pleased with that overlap and I wanted to I don't know just just cover it up I guess so I'm gonna trim out a little bit more of this die cut piece with this watering can so that you can see through that one part and end up putting them up in the middle where I had originally planned. I actually felt a little challenged by the die cut pieces in the By the Well for God kit this month because they were all so beautiful and detailed. All of the floral pieces were just so strikingly gorgeous. I had trouble combining them. Usually I'd love to put multiple ephemera pieces on a page and they all just kind of stood on their own to me so when I tried to combine them I found it a little bit challenging to keep the page from not being too busy so in the end I, I kind of just embraced the busyness I pretended I cannot garden those of you that can garden and grow beautiful things I'm so impressed I'm trying to keep succulents alive as we speak and it's just I don't know it's just not going well so I'm going to kind of embrace my paper garden feel and just have all the flowers in my Bible and pretend that I can keep all of these alive in real life. Okay, next you'll see me looking at all the stamp sets that come uh, with the kit or that coordinate with the kit this month and I'm loving these typewriter stamps. So I decided to use them as part of my title and I'm going to use the title The Who and the What of God's Steadfastness. And the devotional had us looking or had us reflecting on the times that we can remember in our lives that God came through, that God answered prayers, that God's love and his steady hand was there. And sometimes when you're in the midst of waiting or you're in the midst of a trial, it's important to remember just how far God has brought you so far. I am loving that By the Well for God has been offering so many alpha stamp sets recently. I really like mixing up my titles and using a combination of the small tile alphas, the alpha stamps, the larger clear alphas that are also available that coordinate in the colors of the kit. It makes it fun to kind of have a funky quirky title instead of my handwriting which is okay but not the greatest and I just like the fun combination. So you'll see I use the small alpha tiles, I use the typewriter stamps, and then I'm also gonna use a stamp from one of the coordinating stamp sets. Let me see, I believe it's called, oh my goodness, let me see, Joyful Containers, maybe? Nope, that one's not it. Where is it? It might be the one that comes with the kit. Yeah, it's the one that comes with the kit and it has the word steadfastness, and so I used that right here, and one last bit of um, the clear alphas over to the left to add the word gods, and then I will outline the clear alphas with a little bit of black pen so that they that pops off a little bit more, and my alpha ran into that die cut a little bit, and I wanted to make sure that I could read the whole word very clearly. So I add the little apostrophe right there and then a quick outline and my title is done. Since I had the pen in hand, I decided to take the opportunity to go ahead and add a few notes from the devotional. Again, I'm working in day 11 and I'm gonna define this very difficult word that I had never seen before shigionoth, perhaps. 
you know, I'm not a scholar. I'm studying just along with y'all, but I wanted to define that word since it was so new to me. And then I'm also going to write a reminder of what Habakkuk's focus was that even in the midst of trial, he just kept his eyes on God and God's promises. And then over, let's see, I'm going to look and decide what I want to use as my tab. I pull uh, one from the kit and I'm going to adhere that with a bit of washi tape and then add the stamp from, this one is from the Joyful Containers and it's the hashtag by the well for God, which I love. I think that is the cutest little stamp and I I, I'm gonna think I think I'm just gonna have that one out on my desk and just use it on all my entries for by the well for God because I think that is just the most adorable stamp so that's it here down I'm gonna add a little bit of washi tape from the kit or the sticker that's meant to look like washi tape trim it off here and the last thing that I'm gonna do is work on my journaling and I will add a prayer a thanking God for all the times he has come through with for me and the steadfastness that he shows in my life and just reminding myself that in times of trouble that is what I need to hold on to the hope that he provides the last step will be to just add in the date and this page will be done again this kit is available over at by the well for God in their Etsy shop it'll be linked in my corresponding blog post so make sure to check it out this one is a good one it makes you really reflect and i i have just loved it i've learned i've learned a lot for sure if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing otherwise i hope you have a fantastic day and as always keep it creative